Welcome to a series of brief videos on how to use Visual Basic. My name is Andy Wicks and I'll be guiding you through a series of steps that will get you on your way at least. The first time you open up Visual Studio, you may get a screen that asks you about which set of user preferences you want. It looks like this. In our case, we want the third option down. That's the one that says Visual Basic Settings. That will bring you here and we can now start a new project. We're going to call this project First Ideas. Visual Basic starts by assuming that you want to call it Windows Application 1. Don't. Always rename everything immediately. You cannot rename afterwards. So we're going to call this First Ideas. Well, it, we would if we could spell it. Click on OK and Visual Studio starts the process of creating the outline for you. The first time you go in, you're going to see that it creates a blank form. The first thing you have to do is rename that form. Always rename everything immediately. So since this is going to be my main form, I'm going to call this FRM main. That way I know exactly what it's called. Now if I click on the form, I get all the properties for that form. And one of the properties that I can change is the title that appears up the top here. I'm going to change that here in the text section to I'm going to change that to first ideas. Here you can use a space, but don't use spaces in the names of things. Where you have text, that can have spaces in, but the names of things shouldn't really have spaces at all. So this is now called first ideas. Let's save that to be on the safe side, and it'll ask you where you want it saved. For the time being, I'm just going to save in the default location. Having saved it, I can now run it and see that it works. Of course, the program won't do anything. It'll just produce this blank window on the screen that I can move around. But we've got a program that works. We've saved it, so we'll be able to reopen it. To close Visual Studio, just click on the red cross at the top. I'm going to do that and then go back in. So I'm going back into Visual Studio. And to open the project, I just click on the list of recent projects, the one I want, First Ideas. And there it is. So that's how to open, create, save, close a Visual Studio project. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's quite easy. See you in the next video.